I'm going to show you the quickest way to open up applications that say you just can't open that application because we're protecting you from yourself. So, for instance, if I type in MMC for Microsoft Management Console, I click Open, and you get the dreaded message, this app has been blocked for your protection. And you may get this in a million different ways. But you also see the path to the file, which is really helpful. So make sure you write down what that path is. It's in Windows and System 32. All right, so even if you turn off all these different features that are supposed to you know, protect you and keep you from being able to do all this, and we still type in MMC, then it still doesn't open. So you get the exact same message. Then I went in and I went into group policy and tried to edit it. That didn't work either. So the only thing I found that works is a really interesting fix, and it's super quick. So what you do is you go down to the search box, and you type in CMD, and then you run it as administrator. Now remember that path I was telling you about. You have to make sure that you know the path and the name of the executable. So I know that this one's in Windows System 32. So if I type in MMC, the same thing I couldn't get into before, I hit Enter, and look at that. It opens right up. I can get into all different kinds of services.msc, which I couldn't get into before, also now opens right up. And there are my services. So even though you're administrator of the computer and you, you can't seem to open anything that will allow you to make any changes, this is the fastest way to be able to do that. So once again, if you go down to the search box and you type something, I'll just do services, for instance, .msc, and then I'll try to run it from here. And of course, it won't let me, but it tells me the path to it. So C, Windows, Service, System32, MMC. So that way I'll note that's the command I need to type in, and it's the folder I need to be in, in order to launch that particular application. And you also notice that you'll have the same problem if you go into Control Panel, which of course is still there in Windows 11. And you open that up. And if you go down to Windows Tools, this is what used to be called Administrative Tools in Windows 10 and previous versions. So again, if I try to open up uh, computer management or anything like that, from here, it's going to give me that same message, even though I am the administrator of this computer. So again, there's your path to your, your command. So you can go ahead and type that in, and then you'll be able to open it up. So that's how we fix that problem in Windows 11 until Microsoft figures it out.